So I got a work order to come to this property and um, need to fix the patio door, install a smoke detector. Um, what else did I have? I had to put a door stop on, but they also said remove the washer and dryer. And the deal was, she said, look, we don't know if it works or not. Uh, the owners just bought this house to turn it into a rental. So we need you to go and remove the washer and dryer because since they don't know the condition of them, they would rather just be safe and get rid of them and put some new ones in. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and look what we got. Look at this. These are actually fairly nice washers and dryers. And I have a washer and dryer at home, but I would like to have some nicer ones. And the only problem I see is they've obviously been used well because the start button on each of them is worn through. But I mean, even if that was broke, that's probably like a $75 control panel that I can just order online and stick in there. And my wife has been begging me for the drawers underneath. Uh, a little while back, we also got a computer that a guy had left behind. He took the hard drive out of it so that none of his info was left behind. But the computer was nearly new and very functional. So now that's my wife's new computer. Um, I've been looking in every single backyard because when tenants leave anything behind, typically it's free for the taking. So I'm always looking in the backyards for a barbecue pit. That's kind of the next thing I'm on the lookout for. But yeah, free washer and dryer. There are some nice benefits to being a handyman because if you're one of the first people to see the property after the tenants leave, or if you're the guy working on the new property and the owners are getting rid of stuff, then you just might accidentally find yourself, you know, even if I didn't use these, I can sell these for probably two to four hundred dollars each. I'm not going to though. My wife's going to love them.